Hi students, welcome once again to class 12 education and even today also we will be continuing with the previous lesson that we were talk dealing with that is the third chapter in your textbook stages of human development. So if I have to do a quick recap of whatever that we have learned in the previous class then we understood that there are different stages of human development isn't that in our life we have we go through different stages of life right and then in the previous class we already dealt with infancy stage and then the childhood stage isn't that so now today we are going to do a very important stage of human development that is the adolescent stage or the adolescence period right so this stage approximately starts from the age of 13 years till the time that you attain 19 years of age okay so approximately 13 to 19 years of age and here also i want to highlight that this age will vary from culture to culture for in some cultures or for some group of people they reach adolescent or uh, they reach this age very fast and for some group of people it is a bit slow so it will differ from culture to culture but approximately we take the age of 13 to 19 years okay so i believe that you are in that age group so you are trying to understand yourself today okay so if we have to look into the meaning of the term adolescent then this is also taken out from the latin language and the latin word adolescere this uh, adolescent is taken out from the latin word adolescere which means to grow so basically in this stage you are growing a lot okay and then another very significant uh, feature of this adolescent stage is puberty so what do you mean by puberty puberty would mean development of the sexual organs and uh, development of uh, maturity you reach maturity age okay so that is known as puberty and here also in this stage we have to look into the physical social emotional and intellectual development of the adolescent okay so the first one is physical development so we all know that physical is to do with the body isn't that so here in this stage it is said that there is immense growth and development taking place in the adolescent that means it may it might be the height the weight or the size and even the internal as well as the outer organs of the body grows and reaches its highest maximum level or its peak Okay, so there is immense physical growth during this stage and then the glands, the tissues, the bones also harden in the body. So basically you are uh, fully developed into a proper human being in this adolescent stage that is physically. Okay, and then growth wise boys and girls might vary a little uh, there might be a little difference between boys and girls okay so what are some of the features that girls develop during this stage here there is roundness of the breast okay and then there is uh, the hip also it maximizes and then uh, the girls they, be, they attain a shrillness in their voice that means they become very sweet in their voice also and another very important feature of this uh, stage for girls is menstruation occurs during this period okay and then for boys develop there is development of the mustache or the beard in the body and then the voice also cracks and then there is nocturnal emission so what is nocturnal emission that means discharge of the semen during sleep okay and then another feature is erotic or wet dreams so all these are the physical development that is going on in your body and when we talk about this physical aspects or the sexual development that is going on in your body that is quite natural and biological okay so you have to take it positively it is for you to understand the body better and the growth and the development the changes that are going on in your body okay so that is nothing out of the box it is quite natural right and then here in the stage there is immense 
self-love in the adolescent. That means the adolescent really admires himself or herself and then he would want to dress up properly he or she be it both for boys and girls also they'd want to immediate certain people maybe celebrities or their favorite actor or their sportsman right so they try to create an image for themselves okay and then there is homosexuality so now what is homosexuality see you all have group of friends right so girls will try to mingle with girls boys with boys likewise so even for the girls also uh, they'll try to appreciate their girlfriend's uh, appearance or the makeup or the hairstyle right so homosexuality here would mean ap appreciation or liking for the same gender that means liking among friends okay and then there is also heterosexuality so what is heterosexuality heterosexuality would mean attraction for the opposite gender okay so girls will start like liking boys right and then the boys will also start admiring girls right so all these are natural things that are going on inside you or your life but one must also understand that we shouldn't take these changes into the extreme level but in all the changes in all the developments that are going on we should try to strike a balance okay so those are the physical development in the adolescent stage now let us look into the social development so previously in the infancy and the childhood stage the child or the baby was mostly confined to home right and then the child was also shy isn't that and as you reach adolescent stage you're becoming mature isn't that so your circle of friends or your social scenario also increases right so there is some kind of maturity in you so you try to understand things you try to understand what your teacher or your parents or your elders are trying to tell you right so maturity occurs and then there is a tendency in you to become independent okay so you try to be independent without the help of anybody you try to do certain things right and then there is self-assertion so here self-assertion would mean always trying to prove himself or herself right okay and then there is some kind of rebellion also so what is rebellion see parents and teachers they're always giving you advices right so you try to rebel or sometimes you try to go against it also okay because you don't agree with their point of view Th those things can happen and then opposite attraction is there i told you about you know uh, boys liking girls and girls finding boys attractive right so that is opposite attraction okay and then friendship also occurs you try to make good friends and sometimes this friendship lasts lifetimes also okay so friendship is also developed during this stage and one very important social development that occurs in the adolescent is identity search for self-identity so what do you mean by self-identity who am i or why was i born into this world what is my purpose in life so all those questions will come into your mind okay so that is nothing that is quite natural and it is search for identity okay and then you also become uh, sensitive uh, because you get scolding sometimes you get advice also right so you become very sensitive and then you become emotional also okay and then you also develop certain interests for example boys will start to like playing football for example or basketball maybe cricket also and then maybe girls will develop a liking for fashion right so all those interests are developed and sometimes these interests are shaped into career also okay so those are some of the social development that occurs in the adolescent now let us try to understand the emotional development here one important feature is that the emotion is always fluctuating 
that is why what do you mean by fluctuate fluctuate would mean going up and down right so the emotion is very unpredictable during the adolescent stage and sometimes you feel angry sometimes you become very moody right sometimes you are like over joyful you cannot control your happiness right so all those emotions are fluctuating in you okay and then that is why psychologists are of the opinion that this period is a period of great stress and storm because the emotion is always fluctuating okay and then there is intense emotion like i i was citing earlier you feel extremely happy you feel extremely sad so there is uh, imbalance in the emotions we can say and then you also become self-conscious so why do you become self-conscious in the adolescent stage because there are certain uh, changes that are going on in the body right and then the sexual organs are also developing so that is how you become self-conscious about yourself also right so that is it and then uh, some adolescents they become introvert also so what do you mean by introvert introvert would mean not mingling with friends and you know uh, the love of being left alone so you would want to you know close your do doors and then stay inside the room by yourself so this introversion is natural in the adolescent okay but we must also try to strike a balance you must always not try to be alone but you must try to speak with your friends if you have problems or speak with your teachers and elders right then only your doubts will become clear isn't it so some uh, level of introversion is natural but extreme is not good okay so that is emotional development in the adolescent now let us come into the intellectual development so intellect is to do with the mind isn't it so here under intellectual development the adolescents they become very enthusiastic that means whatever that they do they give their full heart and mind in that okay so they become very expressive and then they are good in doing their job also okay so they become enthusiastic they are also very curious see the adolescent he is trying to grow into a mature individual isn't it so he is curious about a lot of things about the uh, things that are going on in the world or the political things of the government for example or trying to understand the world in short okay so the adolescent is very curious and then here in the stage they develop an apt for language also so what is apt for language maybe some of you you might start liking to or build an interest in writing poetry for example drama you must love to write short stories maybe right and then boys they might uh, start getting a liking for for example football right and then maybe carpentry also right so uh, the the intellectual being is you know we can say uh, reaches its peak also okay so that is the intellectual development in the adolescent so students you have understood about infancy stage the childhood stage and you have also understood about the adolescent stage isn't that the three periods of human life right so now let us try to understand the educational implications of this three stages now what are educational implications how is it applicable in the educational scenario or how can parents or teachers or the elders try to understand the uh, child or the individual so that the right kind of education can be given to you okay so after studying all this the educational implications become very important okay so first nature of education during the infancy stage so what kind of education should be given to the infants that means below the age of two years so one method is Montessori method so if you have uh, small children at home then they must be going to play school isn't that so they learn through the play way method isn't that so that is the Mont Montessori method of teaching the small infants okay and then there it is said that under educational implications there should be some kind of reward and punishment not in the extreme level but some mild kind of reward and punishment now why is it important it is important because see 
the child has to understand that if he does something bad then there are repercussions isn't that and if he does something good then he should be rewarded so if the child grows up with that kind of understanding then he'll grow up to understand the difference between the right and the wrong isn't that he will understand that this is not good or this is good right so some kind of mild reward and punishment should be there it seems and then in the montessori method it is uh, say that you know lady teachers are more preferable the female teachers are more preferable to teach the infants now why is that so is because we women we we are it seems psychologists are of the opinion that we understand others better and we are more emotional that is why lady teachers are preferred it seems and then uh, it is also said that children should be uh, or the infants should be taken out to outings a lot for example to the zoos to the parks or to the field so that there is outer expo exposure in the infant okay so those kind of methods can be applied so that the infant understand about education they understand about knowledge and learning okay now what kind of education should be given to the child uh, stage of childhood period so here uh, it is said that values and discipline can be taught to the child because the child is growing up because the child is no more a baby he's trying to understand the world right so values and discipline can be imparted to the child and then one method can be the project method now if you have children at home or your small brothers and sisters then they do a lot of projects isn't that so project method is very beneficial for the childhood stage okay and then storytelling is also important so uh, in the previous class we understood that the children in the childhood stage they really like reading stories isn't it and then they try to uh, imagine about the characters in the story also right so storytelling should be there in the educational process and then uh, the ch children they should also be taken out for outings and then uh, when they see the outside world they'll be able to relate it more in their everyday life that is those are some of the methods that can be applied in the childhood stage okay now let us come into the adolescent stage here uh, i also told you that this is a period of great stress and so storm period right and then there is emotional fluctuation in the adolescent isn't it so teachers parents and elders or the society itself must try to understand the adolescent okay and then maybe some adolescent might be having problems with your personal life also right so proper counseling should be given to the adolescent if they have problems okay and then motivation is also really important and then real life literature should be uh, given to the adolescent now what is real life literature see they uh, the adolescent they do some kind of hero worship so what is hero worship hero worship would mean you know idolizing your favorite actor or celebrity or sports person right so those kind of over idolization is sometimes harmful so what is real literature Li real literature can be you know uh, teaching them about great people like gandhi or tagore or you know uh, martin luther like that right so if they study about these great personalities they will understand about themselves they will uh, try to get more values in their life right so that is why real literature should be introduced and then sex education is also very important why is it important is because uh, the adolescent should understand what is going on inside and outside him right that is why sex education is important and then some kind of vocational training should be given to the adolescent so those are some of the educational implications of the three stages of human life so regarding the stages of human development this is the end of it and then in the next class i will see you with a new lesson thank you